you really cannot make this stuff up y'all one of those years well what's up everybody josh here from josh's lawn and landscape um, as you can see i don't have my landscaping gear on today uh, lawn and landscape gear <laughs> um and if you cannot tell, I'm not in my truck. Um, so I'm not, not doing any mowing today. Uh, I may go down to the shop and swap out some blades on the skag. Um, if y'all haven't had a chance, I did a little video on, on the skag yesterday. I've gotten a pretty good response to that already. Uh, so thank y'all for that. I uh, just, man. It's going to be one of those years. Ronaldo, um, I know <laughs> I know you're going to chime in on this one, Ronaldo. So, uh, shout out to Ronaldo over at Big Sons Lawn Care. Y'all check his channel out if you haven't already. Um, so, again, as you can tell, not in my truck. I'm in, uh, actually in my father-in-law's truck. Uh, kind of his backup, secondary, whatever you want to call it, uh, truck. And um, the reason is my truck was towed today um, because it appears that the transmission went out uh, yesterday evening uh, on the way home. So. I uh, called around this morning, got a quote. Um, uh, shout out to one of the guys I work with. Actually, I guess I finally broke down right in front of his house. I was going to stop to pull in and uh, didn't quite make it in the yard. So, um, yeah. I, um, I left the property yesterday evening and uh, the truck got up to about, I don't know, 35, 40 miles an hour. Um, and when it went to shift, um, it was almost like it had, it had bumped out of gear. Um, it revved up um, like it was going into passing gear, but it wasn't catching. So I. Uh, Making sure I don't run nobody over here. Getting on the interstate. So it caught driving on down the road, no problems. Um, seemed like it uh, hesitated shifting once or twice, but um, no lights, nothing like that. RPMs and everything looked good. Um, Slow down. Again, made a turn, got going down the road. Kind of the same thing around on that 35, 40 mile an hour or so mark and acting like it was missing the shift. And so I said, well, I need to get this thing on home. And I was heading home probably, I don't know, seven or eight miles maybe from the house. And uh, it's going to accelerate down the road and it acted like it did not want to uh, downshift to accelerate. Uh, just simply, um, almost like it was dragging, like towing a train. It was accelerating, speedometers working, everything. Um, at one point, I think I had my foot all the way down to the floor, um, and it was like it was in the bottom of the gear gear range. Check engine light came on. I was almost at uh, the guy I work with's house. Um, he's got a shop where he works at and does uh, got a scan tool and stuff. So I, I was going to pull in this driveway and used to have a, a double drive. And so I missed the first one, went to turn in the second one, realized there was nothing there to turn into. And so I stopped and was going to back up. And when I put the truck in reverse, it wouldn't move. No, I would not go in here. I shifted back up in the drive. Uh, truck wouldn't move. 
has a, a manual option where you can shift it into manual where it, uh, you could go up and down through the gears, even tried that. Uh, truck wouldn't move, tried one more time, shifting it back into reverse, nothing. Uh, truck just revs up, engine off, running fine, obviously. Uh, and I'm sitting in the middle of the road with the front corner of my truck over the center line because I had started to turn into where I thought his other driveway used to be at um, with uh, basically a kind of a knoll or a hill on both sides of me, uh, much closer to the one in front of the truck. Uh, so I simply, I turned the flashers on, got out of the truck, uh, figured I'm not going to be sitting in this truck, Lord forbid, had somebody come over that hill not paying attention and uh, hit the truck. So uh, thankfully none of that happened. Uh, he got his tractor in a chain. We pulled the truck over to the side of the road. Uh, unhooked the trailer, pulled the truck up a little further. Um, again, another big shout out to him. He was kind enough to, uh, uh, had a trailer hitch to fit. So he hooked up to the trailer and actually uh, took me and the trailer uh, back to my house. So the trailer is home with the mowers and everything on it. Um, I got the truck towed today uh, to the uh, automotive shop and uh, I'm actually headed there right now to quote or sorry deposit uh, money for them to order the transmission for the truck so uh, the lady told me that uh, she should have it in about seven or eight working days according to her vendor supplier and it would take them roughly a day to put it in so hopefully by uh, maybe not next the end of next week, but the, the first part of the following week. So a little over a week and a half, hopefully, um, I'll have the truck back. So, um, one of those things, y'all. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm going to have everything in good shape because I'm going to be broke it all and, and fixed it this year. Or replaced it one. <laughs> so, um already been to the bank and get everything straight uh, with money and things like that uh, so got everything lined up uh, just frustrating a quick process but it's like I said it's just frustrating uh, but it's, it's how it goes so that's what's going on just kind of an update video I thought that uh, y'all would find it interesting uh, that my uh, equipment saga continues or equipment issues um, so, but thankfully, uh, there was no major incident with it when it broke down in the road, got it out, got the equipment to the house, um, and got everything lined up to get it fixed. So hopefully, won't be a lot of downtime. Uh, good thing this weekend is all the properties that I've got, with the exception of one, are like two or three miles from my house so um, this truck here will pull that trailer so I'm not um, worried about that you know I just may have to you know, take my time a little more with it but hey <clears throat> I got something to keep me going and uh, got everything lined up to be fixed so y'all let me know what kind of adventures have y'all had this year that uh, maybe if y'all want to mention or, or previously um, so, uh, yeah, the 2500 is down at the moment, but it'll be back, and uh, it's a lot cheaper to uh, do that and, and pay current truck payment with a, a payment, uh, get that transmission paid for, than it is to go get a new one, so, and have to pay for twice as long, so, uh, Hopefully y'all enjoyed this eventful discussion of uh, recent events in the lawn care life situation. Uh, appreciate all the support for the channel as always. Y'all let me know y'all's thoughts on everything. And uh, I appreciate y'all taking the time out to watch. And hopefully everybody is staying safe out there. Uh, not getting in any fights with uh, attic doors or anything. Mr. Darrell. <laughs> Um, nah, I just watched the video. He's doing better, so I'm glad to hear Mr. Gerald's doing all right. Um, 
Y'all check his channel out too as well if you haven't. Uh, Clean and Green Lawn Service. Uh, got a good crew of guys over there keeping that keeping that company rolling over there. So, uh, again, thank y'all. Appreciate all the support. Uh, y'all let me know y'all's thoughts. And uh, as always, just want to say um, y'all be safe, be kind, be blessed, and catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.